welcome back to the channel the question that we are going to discuss today is how many ordered triplets x y z of positive integers satisfy lcm of x y equals to 72 lcm of x z equals to 600 and lcm of y z equals to 900 so these are the three given conditions that we have so these are the three conditions that we have been given lcm of x y equals to 72 lcm of x z equals to 600 lcm of y z equals to 900 if you want to give the problem a try then pause the video else continue watching for the solution so all of this number let's first write them in the prime factorization form so this would be 8 into 9 which is 2 cube into 3 square right this would be 2 cube 3 is to 1 and 5 square right this would be 2 square 3 square and 5 square right so we can see that in here the power of 5 is 0 so all of these numbers x y z they can be represented in the form of some power of 2 raised to a 3 raised to b and 5 raised to c right since these are the only prime factors present here each will have value of a b c different or maybe same so let's form a triangle here x y z so let's say this triangle is for 2 and let's write the power of 2 which is like uh, an edge will contain the power of 2 in the lcm of x and z this edge will contain the power of 2 in the lcm of x and y and this edge will contain the power of 2 in lcm of y and z so what is the power of 2 in lcm of x and y it's 2 cube what is the power of 2 in lcm of x and z it's also 2 cube What's the power of two in LCM of y and z? It's two square. So let's me let me write first x y z. Three five two three five. From here we can conclude that x has the power of two as three. If either z or y had power of two uh, as three. Then this would also would have been two raised to the power three, right? Least common multiple. Else it would not have been divisible by either y or z. So the power of two here would be three, right? Now let's draw another. We cannot say for this anything. We can only say that including both, they will have power of two square. Okay. Now let's do the same for three. Here it's three square. Between an x and z is three is to one. Between y and z it's three square again. So by same logic, y will have three square. If either x or z have three square, then this would also have been three square. Now let us do the same for five. Between x and y, it's five to show zero. Between x and z, it's five square. Between y and z, it's also five square. So by same logic, z is five square. From here, we can see that between x and y, it's five to show zero. So neither of them will have any power of five. Else, at least one five would have been here, right? So this is already solved. Only now we need to find the number of ways. This equation is satisfied, and from here, two, three raised to power one, right? X and Z. So, in how many ways can we uh, provide X and Z with three such that in their LCM we get only one three? Let's make it even X Y, and here if the power is three one, if it's three one here, three one here, right? One. Three raised to power zero in case of x and three raised to power one in z. 
and vice versa. Right? So total three cases. For similarly for two year, we can see that both can have two raised power two, both x and z. Either one can have x to the power two. This is one case, and the second one can have either two to the power zero or one. These are two cases. Similarly, first one can have two to the power zero or two to the power one, and the second one can have two square. This is two cases. This total is five. So total value which we get is five ways in for this five ways for this three. So total is five into three, which is fifteen. So this is the answer. Were you able to solve it? Thank you for watching.